Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Rebecca Rice, and I teach family photographers how to gain a life of financial freedom. I'm super excited about today's episode because we're talking all about Facebook ads and what campaign type photographers should be using in their Facebook ads. So let's jump in. If you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so that other people can find this video if you find it helpful and also so that you can get notified um, every time we have a new video go live. Now before we get too far, I wanted to let you know about a free class that I have for you guys. In case you haven't joined us yet, this class is all about mini sessions. So obviously right now, if you're watching this video when it gets published, we are in the thick of mini sessions season. And so if you're wondering how to you know, jump in and book out a date of minis before it's too late, then watch that class for sure. We'll link it here in the show notes, but if you want to type it in, go to RebeccaRicePhoto.com slash minis dash class. I promise you're going to leave with pages of notes and stuff that you can apply right away to book out a date of mini sessions. Okay, so let's get into the nitty gritty of Facebook ads. Now, I know Facebook ads can be you know, intimidating, they can be scary, they can be frustrating, especially if you aren't as familiar with them. And it's for sure overwhelming with all the options and settings and things that you can do. So I wanted to, as much as I can, make this process super simple so that you know exactly how to put your best foot forward and get the right campaign type going forward so that you can book out your photo sessions. I am a huge fan of, of Facebook ads. They work for mini sessions, they work for full sessions. They work for all kinds of things. And so um, my goal is to just help simplify the process a little bit so that you can feel more confident going in and starting your own Facebook ads. So when we get into the different campaign types, there are a lot. And that's the very first menu that you see when you're in, you know, creating a new ad and that can be overwhelming. And so um, the first thing to know is that every campaign type has a different purpose. And I want to walk you through each of them so you can kind of understand why you would use them. And then I'll tell you my favorite one to use, the one that I've found to be most effective, not only for my business, but for other businesses as well. So as we kind of scroll through here, the first type of campaign is your awareness campaign. Now that awareness campaign, really the purpose is to, um, you know, be an introduction to your business. A lot of times people use this as a way to create an audience to then later retarget. It's used a lot more in like advanced Facebook ad strategy. And so um, it has a great purpose, but not really the one that I would say to go with when you're looking at your campaign type for your photography business. The next option we have is traffic. And the purpose of a traffic ad is to get as many eyeballs to your website as possible. You wanna drive traffic. Um, and sometimes Facebook gets a little confused there and they think, that they can just show it to anybody and everybody. Of course, you have your um, detailed targeting and things like that, but still, I've found it's not as quite effective as some other um, campaign types just because it is very broad, that it's going to show it to anybody and everybody that might fall into the demographic that you're, that you're targeting, and um, it's just a little too broad in my opinion. The third type of campaign that is listed is an engagement campaign. And this is, um, the goal is what it sounds like, to get people to engage with your ad, whether that's, you know, commenting or sending a message or taking some kind of action on your ad. Um, this has been really effective and I'll get into more of that in a little bit. There's a couple more I'm going to touch on. The next campaign type is your leads campaign. And what this is, is it Facebook has an internal form that potential clients can fill out and, you know, they put their name, their email, whatever, and it collects a lead for you to then follow up with at a later time. While yes, the goal of what we're trying to do is get leads for bookings, that internal form doesn't really convert well. I get what Facebook's trying to do, but from my experience and I've tested it, it doesn't work the best in actually converting people to, into bookings. And then the last two campaign types um, is app promotion, which 
we don't have apps. And so um, that's not the one you're going to be using. And sales, which obviously is like trying to get something, somebody to buy something. But um, usually that works better for products and not necessarily services. So if you've been following along, um, kind of narrowing down the campaign type that I've found to be most effective for booking photography sessions is the engagement campaign. And specifically, when you like click that engagement campaign, you see that there's a lot of different options of ads that you can do as an engagement campaign. My favorite and the one that I've found that just works the best, that converts the best, is Messenger ads. And basically what that means is when somebody clicks on the ad, they are sent into Messenger, either Facebook Messenger if they're clicking it on Facebook, or Instagram DMs if they're clicking it from Instagram. And um, you're able to then have a conversation with them in that ad. So I have another video where I walk you through how to set up an Instagram or a Facebook and Instagram messenger ad. Um, so I'll link that below for you guys to go watch that if you want to know like the nitty gritty of how to set it up, how to get it going, best practices, that's how you do it. But the campaign type is the engagement campaign. Now it's worth mentioning that if you like scroll over, kind of hover over each of those, the, there are several others that also have messenger ads. Leads have messenger ads. Um, there's a couple others, but you don't want to select those because if you select, for example, the lead campaign and do a messenger ad, it's going to prompt your people to fill out a form and you don't want that. The one that you want is engagement because the goal is to get them to have a conversation with you. Um, there's a few reasons why I love messenger ads and I have found them to be the most effective over other campaign types because I've tested lots of them and this one by far books the best. Here's why. So first is that it allows you to have a conversation with the person. Um, I see a lot of ads where people send them straight to like a booking page, like a scheduler or something like that. And while yes, the client can go and click the time that they want and fill out the form and it doesn't require you, what it does is it takes away the opportunity to potentially book something if maybe that date doesn't work for them or they're you know looking for a mini session and it turns out that they actually need a full session. Without having a conversation, you don't know that information. And so I'm a big fan of having the conversation because I can't tell you how many times I'm running an ad for mini sessions and I end up booking a full session or multiple full sessions from that ad just because I was able to have a conversation with them. Had that been just sending them to a scheduler page, I would have lost out on a booking because there's no way for me to know that they actually needed a full session or they would have booked a mini session. And then later down the road, when I'm shooting it, I would have found out that it should have been a full session in the first place. So I'm a big fan of conversation. The second reason that I'm a really big fan of messenger ads is the follow-up because when people click on the ad and they reply, yes, I'd like to book a session or whatever, I get a notification in my messenger and I can then again have that conversation. Well, from there, I'm able to follow up with all of my leads however many times I want. Whereas if I'm sending people to a scheduler page, let's say somebody goes to the scheduler page, they select a time that they want, and then they get distracted because their toddler needs help opening a snack, and then all of a sudden they're doing a million things, and they forget to book, and they either lose the link or just never go back to it. That's a lead that is now lost because we have no way of following up with that person. All we know is somebody clicked on the ad. We have no idea who it was, you know, all, the, all their details to be able to follow up. Whereas if you have a messenger ad, let's say the person clicks on your ad, says yes, they want more information, you start the conversation with them, and then they get distracted and, you know, they're opening the toddler snack and whatnot. Well, now, because they've started the conversation, we know exactly who it was that was interested, when they reached out, all the things. So we're able to follow up with them and remind them like, hey, are you still wanting to book this session? And if they're like me and they get super distracted, they might come back and say, oh my goodness, yes, thank you for reminding me. And they could finish the booking process. So messenger ads with the engagement campaign 
have performed super, super well for our business, but also the businesses of many of our students. And so if you've never tried one, I highly encourage you to try one. Like I mentioned, we have a video where I walk you through how to set up a Facebook ad. Um, so definitely go check out that video. I also do have a Facebook ads mini course available in my shop. So we'll link that below too, if you want to um, just dive in. It's not very long, so you'd be able to binge it, but it will get you to know everything that you need to know to put forth a successful ad um, for your photography business. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions at all about Facebook ads, and I know they can be really overwhelming and confusing, just comment them below and I would love to come through and answer as many of them as I can. So with that, we'll go ahead and sign off and I'll see you back here next time for another helpful video. Bye guys.